A great wave of graphical performance is cresting, now Unreal Engine 5 is on the horizon. For the uninitiated, Unreal Engine 5 is Epic's real-time 3D creation tool, with this latest edition promising game-changing fidelity. What does this mean for us gamers, though? Well, we can expect unparalleled realism with immersive lighting and texture effects to unprecedented levels of natural detail. We'll talk a lot about Unreal Engine 5's new features throughout this rundown, in particular Lumen and Nanite. Lumen is UE5's dynamic global illumination system, achieved by utilizing a global natural light source to enhance the believability of a game's setting. Nanite is a system which boosts geometric detail, meaning textures and surfaces from film quality art sources can be rendered in real time. Unreal Engine 5 Test by Arn Vu Kicking things off is this short video by Arn Vu, which perfectly demonstrates the capability of the new Lumen and Nanite systems. Everything you see here, the slick sand, the rocks, pebbles and children's toys, were created by importing high-resolution scans of real-life textures. I love the sunlight in this video. Its beautiful evening hue of burnt orange softly curves around the toys in lifelike fashion, owing to another new system called virtual shadow mapping. This scene is stunning. Despite its overly flamboyant sea waves, presumably a result of this being an early access version of UE5, Anvu shows us the level of realism we can expect from video games going forward. Apocalypse Bunker Demo by Ostap Gordon Next up is this decaying underground bunker, courtesy of Ostap Gordon, who again makes exceptional use of nanite and lumen. This apocalypse bunker setting has clearly been exposed to deterioration, which Gordon displays in the range of materials and lighting used. Take a close look at the metal pipework at the demonstration's outset. Its natural and artificial light sources converge around the pipe, highlighting specks of damage, flecks and scratches all unique to each other. Quite simply, the level of detail is exceptional. Inspired by Death Stranding, Unreal Engine 5 Preview by Scionti Design Encapsulating the rugged terrain of Death Stranding is this demo by Scionti Design, Epic state that UE5 is the ideal tool for open-world game development, offering faster, easier and more collaborative workflows for creating immersive game worlds. Again, high-res texture scans have been imported into each jagged rock face, with the sole light source adding realistic, eye-pleasing depth. Together with mysterious mist effects, Scionti Design has crafted a landscape as intoxicating as it is impressive. Unreal Engine 5 Environment Crash Site by Daniel Cormino I love how wonderfully imaginative this scene is. Originally designed by Michael Zhu before adapted into UE5 by Daniel Cormino, its ramshackle building cobbled from salvage materials with the husk of rusted plane wreckage functioning as foundation walls. This setting wouldn't look out of place in Borderlands where it reimagined in high-res art style. The intricacy of this setting is the primary draw for me here. This wreckage come homestead is packed with oil cans, rope, crates and appliances, all weathered and corroded. Its shell of wood and corrugated metal shows tactile signs of erosion, owing to the harsh desert landscape. Photorealistic Interior by Wave Function VR Unreal Engine 5 presents practical applications away from video games for companies operating in areas like interior design. The photorealism of the interior in this demonstration presents an environment that feels lived in, with books, cacti and coffee supplying the mind with enough escapism to easily imagine the feel of relaxing on that sofa, gazing at the crackling fire for company. For me, there's an air of a villain's lair about this setting so I can't help envisioning sneaking through an assassination mission. Next Gen Terrain Physics by Joe Garth Rugged, rocky grasslands are commonplace in Unreal Engine 5 demos, as they offer the perfect opportunity to show off the highly textured nanite system on a variety of different surfaces. In this demo, creator Joe Garth goes one better by incorporating third-party plugins, 
enabling him to showcase an environment destroyable by player interaction. And yes, I know destructible landscapes aren't entirely novel in video games, and Joe states that this is by no means the finished article, but this level of photorealism combined with true-to-life physics of rocks dislodged by meteor strikes is unparalleled in gaming. It'd elevate the destructive environments in games, that's for sure. Alpha Point by the Coalition Famed, of course, for Gears of War, first-party Xbox studio The Coalition made this demonstration as an internal test of UE5's raft of capabilities. Nanite and Lumen get a workout here, alongside other systems such as Virtual Shadow Maps and Convolution Bloom. This demonstration succeeds, as it shows us what a company with the budget to push UE5 systems can achieve. Take this demo's triangle density. In basic terms, triangles are the simplest form of polygons, with game engines up to now being able to handle a few million triangles. In Alpha Point, the Coalition's artists were able to create assets with half a million triangles, almost 15 times those of Gears 5, with the entire scene itself containing upwards of a hundred million. That's a whole lot of pixel depth. Character Test by the Coalition As part of the same GDC demonstration, the Coalition unveiled a test they undertook with a character after the completion of Alpha Point, and just wow. Again, we're seeing unprecedented levels of wear and tear in materials, but just look at the detail on the character's face, their pores, the hairs in their beard, their cheeks peach fuzz. It's dense with triangles thanks to UE5's groom topology. In fact, technical art director Colin Penty states that this next-gen character's eyelashes hold 3,500 triangles, which, for comparison, is the same as an entire character on the Xbox 360, indicating just how advanced this technology has become. Nanite Overload on the Shore by Malhelm Sphere Yes, it's another rocky coastal setting, with soft sunlight bathing rugged cliff faces. It's just that if I didn't know any better, I'd swear that those close-up shots beneath the outcrop were real. It just looks to me that someone is handheld recording. The textural integrity is that incredible. Malham employs photorealistic scans to every object seen here, showcasing billions of triangles rendered in real time. In fact, this is such high fidelity that I have a hard time envisioning games being able to fully utilize it until we either get superior compression technology or SSDs capable of keeping up with the speeds required to render this level of detail in gameplay. Raining in the Jungle by Ramon Monsanto Water isn't something we've focused on much in this rundown yet. And whilst water physics are still a tad primitive compared to nanites and lumen, we're seeing some truly remarkable surfaces that are glistening and reflective when wet in this demo. Imagine a jungle warfare game set in Ramon's rain-soaked environment. We might not be seeing the truest extent of the rain as it slaps into leaves and pummels the muddy jungle floor, but just look at how sodden everything is. You can practically hear the squelch underfoot as you trudge through that mud. My favorite water effect in this demo, though, must be the rain streaming from the roof, collecting in beads before ribboning downward. Demon's Gate by Victor Oman there's some stark contrast between light and shadow inside the ancient stone brickwork of Wichter Omen's Demon's Gate. This perceived difference in lightness throughout adds believable depth to the scene, with dim corridors barricading bright shards that have penetrated through narrow windows, all underpinned by tasteful candle glow. We've got to hand it to Lumen again, as we venture further into the cave towards the gate itself, the amber candlelight balances superbly with the brilliant white light at the tunnel's end. Inspired by Silent Hill by Scionti Design Another entry from Scionti Design, and it's this wonderfully evocative setting inspired by Silent Hill. The daytime section is fantastic, of course, with plenty of density in foliage and worn tarmac clearly visible. 
However, it's the night section where this example shines. Typical for Silent Hill, the nighttime is drenched in thick fog, an imposing air of apprehensiveness in the cloak of darkness. Pay attention to the way light from street lamps fills the empty air between roadside trees. It's so damn near perfect how it replicates moisture hanging in the air. Lumen and Nanite Test by IRAM Gamer if there's one thing I'm enjoying about these Unreal Engine 5 demonstrations, it's how unpristine everything can look. Worn in belt loops, weathered road signs, and rusty metalwork, UE5 is seriously capable of making items just look used. This demo by IRAM Gamer focuses solely on military weaponry alongside a Jeep, and it's the perfect example of equipment looking rugged. Just check out the gnarly detail on that sniper rifle. Its finish worn away by every trigger pull, its touch points worn smooth by years of battle. Pilot Tray by Storm S. Speaking of unpristine, well, we're going in the opposite direction now to showcase the smooth lines of futuristic spaceflight engineering. This sci-fi spacecraft has a strong balance of reflective surfaces, all delivered with lifelike integrity. The metal overheads shine the most, of course, with light perfectly bending around its curved silhouette, whilst what I assume could be industrial plastic or carbon fiber offer a tactile matte finish. I especially like the laptop close-up. Storm S has done a phenomenal job of conveying the rubbery texture of computer keys, grounding this scene in some semblance of reality to enhance its believability. It's just as well, because the kicker right at the end of this demo is that futuristic cityscape. Oh boy, how slick does that look? Flare Lights the Mountain Sky by Malhem Sphere To the untrained eye, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this mountain scene was real footage. The sinking sun's light cresting behind the mountain face, the handheld close-up of powdery white snow, the wisps of fog and snowflake particles. It's all simply jaw-dropping, like you're face-to-face -face with the Matterhorn itself. I know I've bleated on about this a lot during this rundown, but I find it really easy to imagine how everything must feel to touch thanks to UE5's new nanite system. Those rocks especially are so well done, they have the rough texture that you'd expect, but with bold light shining on only their tops, you can see their weathered, uneven edges. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request before we conclude, though. We upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.